2020. Wah! Still trying to find the reset button and start this year over again. But here we are. We must take all our wins and losses in stride. Good thing is, not all is lost. Remember 2019? That year we all said was horrible because we were broke. Ah, uh, 2019 was a great year. Mm. Well, 2019 saw the introduction of the cheapest way to send money in Kenya and across other countries in Africa, cheaper cash. What a wow! Cheaper than cheap, in fact. So cheap that you get money for downloading the app to send money. I kid you not. Well, there are some requirements that you need to meet first. That's why I'm here today. From TechWiz, I'm Martin Givenji with Cheaper Cash FAQs. Let's take it and go. Question one, why the need to get verified? So you've downloaded the app and the app requires you to get verified. Why now? Isn't the phone yours? Don't you know who you are? Doesn't the phone know you from your fingerprint and face unlock? Verification was introduced to protect users from issues such as fraud and money laundering, provide enhanced security of users' account, as well as provide buyer and seller protection when transacting. Once verified, users get high transaction limits because you've earned more trust within the cheaper cash ecosystem. It's like you and your border delivery guy. You know, you trust him or her more when you get to knowing each other, right? If anything, you possibly would never trust just any stranger with your money or goods, right? That's why in future, users will not be able to transact on cheaper cash without getting verified. Aww. I know, gosh, so strict, huh? But secure and procedural. Also, the cheaper cash system must confirm your identity when you open an account to meet the country's money laundering regulations and help stop criminals from using financial products and services for their own benefit. Question two, how do I apply for verification? To verify your account, first ensure the Cheaper Cash app is updated to the latest version by checking on the Play Store or App Store. Next, visit the Profile tab. At the very bottom of the Profile page, you will see the option to get verified. Select Begin Verification and follow the given instructions. Next, submit the required information, one being a photo of your ID and a selfie. Now, here we need to get rid of any uncertainties. For a start, make sure you take a good clear photo of your ID. If on taking the photo, you can't read the details on the image, how will the team at Chipper Cash do it? Also, it's a photo of the front of the ID, basically the side you unfortunately hate because most of you got your IDs after high school and you look uh, 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 as if you hadn't really grown into yourself as you have now. <laughs> You're fearfully and wonderfully made, but your ID photo makes you look more fearful than wonderful. You, you could always go apply for another ID, you know, <laughs> with a fresher photo. Sorry, I, I digress. Please take a photo of the front of your ID and please ensure the text on the ID is clear, right? Right. Next, take a photo of yourself. That is a selfie. And please, no gang signs, no pouting lips, no tongues out, no funny faces. Just a clear photo of you, your face, a selfie. Simple. Imagine applying for a passport. Take it that serious. It won't take too much of your time. You won't leave the comfort of your home or car or bathroom if you so wish. And it will help the verification process go smoother. Once done, tap the submit button. But just for the fun of it, let's explore ways to not make the process go smoother, shall we? Number one, submitting documents at night or in darkness forgetting that the verification process is not just to correlate the faces but also the ID numbers. Come on, man. See, pictures need to be clear enough to be seen. In the event of a blurry image on your ID, please use an alternative identification document. Say your driver's license, BVN, NIN, that's for Nigeria and Ghana. If you choose your travel passport as identification, ensure to submit the biodata page. All these options are valid, as opposed to fixing a photograph on the image column of your blurry identification card photo. The creativity we have sometimes. Number two, taking a selfie of your ID and an image of yourself. I mean, what? Okay, 
please just take a selfie of yourself not a selfie of a photo of yourself also be the only subject in the selfie at times photos have two faces in what should have been a selfie of a single user ensure you don't cover your face or any important part of the id when taking the picture for verification question three how long before i get verified the verification process approximately takes three to five working days after submission or sometimes shorter depending on the number of requests received if the verification fails, users receive a message with the reason. On the profile tab, your verification status will be needs resubmission. If this is the case, you can resubmit your ID using the same process as mentioned earlier. Question four, when and how do I receive my bonus? To receive your bonus, you need to have met all verification requirements first. After sharing your code and the new user downloads the app, they also need to get verified. The bonus will then be sent to you once the new user makes a transaction from their cheaper cash account to any other cheaper cash account, including yours. Thank you for watching this video. We do hope that you found it useful. Please do hit that thumbs up button, share the video, and if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any updates on your daily consumer tech. Till the next one, stay safe, stay home, we done tech it. Now we... Wait, I'm working from home. Now you go.